Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Right, um, once again I want to try and be of some assistance to you. I did do a previous video on how to make a banner a traffic light. This time we are wanting to make things a little bit more realistic and as we have a pedestrian cross here, um, I feel I'd like to actually do a pedestrian um, crossing sign. So I'm just going three up there, one up there of an iron block or whatever material you choose and put an item frame. Right, the next thing what I want you to do is to get an empty map. Once you have an empty map um, open there, I want you to right click on it. Now the minute you right click on it, it will create a current map of where you currently are standing okay you're not going to worry too much about that what we're going to look at there is you need the map number so from that map empty map when you right clicked on it it created a number next to it make a note of your number not my one of 61 i have to remember 61 you have to remember your number okay you can then get rid of your empty map and keep your map 61. Then what I want you to do is to exit Minecraft. Get out of it. Save your world. Minimize it down. Then go into your Internet Explorer or whatever you're using. And then, then Google search um, pedestrian crossing signs. Go under images. Now, is whatever sign that you are looking at, wanting that you're wanting to create. Scroll down and look for a sign that appeals to you, that you feel um, is more suitable for your for your need. I rather like this one over here. So what I'm going to do is I will right click there and save the image. I'll just call it Ped Crossing, and I'm saving it under my desktop. Save. Right. Then, the next thing I want you to do is, I want you to Google um, MC Map Tool. Enter that. And you'll see MC Map Item Tool that will appear. Okay? Click on that. Open it. Then once it opens, then click on Browse. Go under the image that you wanted or the image that you saved. In this case, the pedestrian crossing. Now, it will automatically show horizontal one and vertical one. It will put that in automatically based upon the original image size. If it was a rectangular image you saved, it will automatically change to either horizontal to or vertical to, vice versa, whatever. Okay? Accept that. Click select number. Then click adjust colors. Now, how many maps does your world already have? Now, remember, I had that one I had just saved was map 60. Whatever that map number or your map number is or the one that you had just created, enter that number in there and click Create File. Then click Download. Then go into your Download folder and you will see it appear. When you go into your Download folder, you will see there it is that you've saved it, Map. 60. Right click on it, cut it, then go into your Minecraft folder. So there, what you're going to need to do uh, is to look for your Minecraft folder. In my case, it'll be users, my name, app, data, roaming, Minecraft, then go into saves. Choose then the world that you want to save that picture within. 
then click data, scroll down to your maps, um, and you'll see there map 60 or map 61. I saved it as map 60, so I'm going to right click, click paste, and replace the file in my destination. Once that's saved, you can minimize that or you can close it all down. Go back to your Minecraft folder. Right, you go back into your Minecraft world. Open up the world that you're wanting. And then as soon as your world opens, you will see that on that map that had previously been saved, as a street now appears as your sign. You can then right click on and then voila, you have your traffic, uh, your pedestrian crossing sign. Likewise guys, you know, if you're wanting, for example, in your home, you can do the same thing there where you can save a picture of yourself. Unfortunately, that's me. But if you want pictures that's uh, of a family member, uh, uh, or your dog, or your cat, um, that's great. Um, you can actually also save and create similar pictures for the houses that you build. There you go, and once again, I hope I have been of great help to you, and if you've liked this video, please don't forget, give it a like, and also to s subscribe because your subscription and joining my channel does definitely help in keeping me motivated and helps me keep making a valuable video footage for you guys. Okay, thank you very much. See you again next time. Bye.